Your assignment today is get you get to create a tech lab poster. So your job is to work in a Google slide to do this. So our class rules are number one, follow directions. Number two is always use your assigned computer. Number three is stop working when the teacher is talking. And that's the big one for me. I just want to make sure that you are really paying attention. So your hands are off the keyboard. Your eyes are on me. You're listening to what I need to tell you. Unless sometimes I might say you can keep working. Just listen. Just be paying attention is the biggest thing. The next thing is stay on task because the way it works in the computer lab, if you're new and you don't remember or you don't remember, um, we have assignments to do every week. And so we do those. And as soon as you finish it and turn it in, I'll be checking it. But you are able to go to the next thing, which is when you're finished. And those are websites. And you can go do those websites when you're finished with your assignment. Now, if you don't do your assignment well, I will go back and I'll have you go back and fix it. But do it well, stay on task, and then you can do some free time on the computer. The next thing is with our um, equipment. We want to use a soft touch on our keyboard, our mouse, our headphones. We share these this equipment with a lot of people. I have almost 900 students who are coming in. So there are a lot of people that use your computer and we don't want to have to replace things year after year. So we just have to be really careful with those. And then the last thing is stay on approved sites only. Now I just referenced how when you're finished with your assignment, you can go to websites. The thing is I give you so many websites that you don't need to type in your own web address. You can go to something I've already given to you. So if you have something and you're like, Miss Hal, this would be great for us to have, let me know what it is. I will look at it. I might use it. I might not. There's a lot of things I do to, to judge what can be put on our websites, but you do not have the liberty to just type in and go to anything that you'd like. So just remember that. That is a big class rule for me. Okay, so those are our class rules, but you get to add another class rule too. So I want you to type all the ones we just did, then you can add your own if you'd like. If you don't want to add your own, you don't have to. But what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Google Slide presentation that's on Google Classroom. Now this is in presentation form. What I want it to look like is like we could print it out on a piece of paper. So it is possible to do that right here on Google Slide. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to file right here at the top and then come down to where it says page setup. Now what you need to know is that a regular piece of paper is measured eight and a half across and 11 down. So the width is eight and a half and then the height is 11. So all you have to do is come in here and type 8.5 and then type 11 and then you can press apply. And what that's going to do is now your screen, your slide is in the shape of a piece of paper. So if you were to print that, it would be like printing it on a regular piece of paper. Now you'll notice that there are already some boxes on here for you. And this is called what we call the layout of this. Um, and we want to look at our layout. You can use this layout if you want, or you could click the word layout right here. And maybe you want it to be title and body. That might be something that you'd like. And you can just come right up here and then you can start typing. I don't know if you can see, but I have a dog here who's really wanting to, to um, join this lesson. Okay. So what I would suggest for you to do is really important is that you just focus on typing right now. Do not worry about formatting. Um, formatting is what we're going to call like changing the color, changing the fonts, adding images. Those are the fun things, right? You will have time to get to the fun things, but let's just type everything first. So you would just come in and you would just start typing class rules down here and just start typing. And that would be the rules that are listed on the board. Okay. Follow directions. Number two is always sit at your assigned computer and then so forth and you would just keep going down go ahead and type those because again it's going to take a lot less time to type and then you can go back and have fun okay you can do that if you want to put that in the center you don't have to just use your space bar highlight it 
okay? Come up to these. If you don't see what you need, just take a look at this toolbar. And all of these things, you're able to hover over and see what you can do. What you want is the align tool. If I don't see it, I'm going to click these three dots. And then my align tool is right here. And align just means how you want everything lined up. I want that in the center. So I'm going to click this one right here. And this is that text box. I'd like it in the middle of the text box. So I'm going to put it here is the middle, and then here it goes down to the bottom. But I want it in the middle, so I'm going to put it right there. Now we're going to go back and use our text, our toolbar, and you can go back and you can change the font. You can change the font size. Okay, you can do all of that. All right, so if you don't want to use this layout, Okay, well, I'm going to go back and click outside where you see layout. You can choose another type of layout as well. It's, it's up to you, but this is a great thing where you could choose this. If you want to start typing more words and you're like, I, I want to type and I don't know how to type because I'm clicking on something and, and I can't type. What do I do? You have to have a text box. What I like about the layout option is they give you text boxes already there. But if you want to put in a text box, you can do it by either insert text box, or you could click this right here and then hold down your left click and then just drag it across. And there's your work text box. But with a Google slide, which is so much different than a Google doc, you have to have, it's just an open canvas and you have to put boxes of what you want to do. So if you want it, if you want to text, you've got to put a box to put your text box. If you want an image, you have to go find your image. Okay. So, and if you want to delete that, you just click on it and you can press delete. If you do something wrong, you click your undo button. Okay. And if you want to redo it, you click this button, the redo button. So those are some great things. But remember with Google Docs, you are also, I mean, Google Slides, you're also able to add images. So you can go ahead and add images if you'd like to go ahead and you can go um, search the web is what you want to do. All right. And you can type in computer and you are able to put in different images that you'd like. And when you click on it, you can, you double click and it goes right in. If you just click on it and press the insert button on the bottom, it will also go in there. Okay, and then you can resize using these handles on the side. And a great thing with Google Docs is, I mean, Google Slides is something that Google Docs doesn't allow you to do is you can just move things freely around. If you want this to go behind, you can always use the arrange button. So this is highlighted, go to order, and then you could send it to the back. If you want to change your background, you're able to change your background. You can click background up here, but it didn't show up. Let me show you. It didn't show up when this is highlighted. Background's not there. Just click on the outside. Get to background. Choose a color if you'd like. You can even choose a gradient color. You can customize that. You just have fun with it, okay? You can do all sorts of things with this, or you could choose an image. And when you choose an image, if you do Google images, you might even be able to do like um, polka dot background. Okay. You just type things in and look at that. All of these cute little things can come up if that's what you want to do. Um, and you can click on it and you can insert it. And then now that's your background. You don't have to use that if you don't want. And you're thinking, oh, but I can't read everything. Well, let's make this. Click on my text box. This is what's really cool. Click on that text box. I'm going to click the three dots. And I'm going to, I'm looking for the paint bucket. I didn't need the three dots. Fill color. And look at that. And now I have this text box and I can actually see with something like that. I can even change the border color by using the pencil. And then I could say, oh, I want to change the outside of that to pink. And then I can make it thick, thicker by clicking that, um, this right here. Okay. And then I can even click this one and I can even change what the border looks like. All right. I could do all sorts of things. This is not necessarily a huge production that I want you to worry about today. Today's lesson is remembering the class rules, 
Okay. Number two is I want you just to get back into creating with Google Slides. You might not have worked on it over the summer. So I want you to enjoy being creative. Try to remember all the things that you're able to do. Have fun with this. Get all the class rules that we have typed up first. You can add a rule if you'd like, or you don't have to add a rule. But when you're finished with this, turn it back into Google Classroom. And once you turn it into Google Classroom, you can go to when you're finished.